Everyone's talking about the coronavirus and what we can do to stay healthy and avoid colds and flus. So as you may know, when you have a diabetic in your household, it is especially important that you're very diligent about keeping your hands and your home clean. The second road starts coming down with some sort of bug, his blood sugar starts going up and he finds it very difficult to control and manage his blood sugar. Talk to your doctor about what you can try to do to help that. But this is why it's so very important with people with diabetes to um, be weary and careful around cold and flu season. So here are my three tips. The second you walk in your home, you wash your hands. We do this in our household. We have a half bath right by the back door. You do not come in, you do not talk to anyone, you do not touch anybody until you've washed your hands. And this time of year, I hide all my pretty decorative hand towels and we use paper towels. Because if you don't wash your hands for the full 20 seconds to wash all the germs away, you wipe them off on the paper towel and you throw them away and you don't pass them on to the next person on the towel. Second, I clean every single person's phone. You come in my house, I clean your phone with a Clorox wipe because you know you've touched it all day long and you've set it on dirty surfaces. And so when I come in my home after being out, I Clorox my phone and I will do it to yours too. I keep them in desk drawers and I keep them right by the back door. You wipe your phone. Number two, in the car. You're getting in and out of the car. It's cold. Maybe your nose is runny. You're tempted to touch your nose, wipe your face. I keep tissues, boxes of tissues, little packs of tissues in my car, in purses, in briefcases, in desk drawers. And if I'm ever tempted to touch my face or my nose, I use a tissue to do it. I wipe it, I scratch it, and I throw it out. If you're one of those people that you catch a little hangnail and you, you're tempted to bite it, keep a nail file everywhere so that you take care of it and you do not put your fingers in your mouth or in your nose. I know, kindergarten, but still, it's tempting. So have these things available. Three, make sure you keep your hand sanitizer in your car so every time you get in and out, you sanitize your hands. And last, we take vitamin C all year round. We keep it by the coffee pot. Every single morning, Rhodes and I take a vitamin C. This time of year, we go with the supercharged. We take something that has C and zinc, magnesium, all the vitamins and minerals that help your immune system fight off germs. So this time of year, when you're around a lot of people, you're shaking a lot of, a little, a lot of hands, make sure you take something every morning that's gonna help your body fight those off. Hope that's helpful and stay healthy.